in the gruesome killing of Reverend Father Isaac Achi of Catherine Koro of Nina Dowses in the early hours of 15th February by the suspected bandit Reverend Father Uche Chuku Obodi Helling ha had condemned the despicable act and carefully commiserated with the good and religious people of Nina Dowses. Obodi Helhima disclosed this at a press briefing in Abuja. Now, according to Reverend Father Uche Chuku, Nigeria has become a hell on earth where human life is totally devalued, castigated, and randomly wasted. But Isaac Archie was reported burnt alive in his presbytery on the faithful day along with his parish assistant who was shot in the leg but narrowly escaped that and is currently in the hospital receiving treatment. One will recall that the same Father Isaac Archie was the parish priest of St. Teresa's Catholic Church, Madala, that was attacked on December 25, 2011, while at Christmas Day Mass with over 50 parishioners gruesomely killed in a bomb blast. The list is endless. Since 2012 to date, there have been 47 recorded attacks on the Catholic Church, killing of Catholic priests, nuns and seminarians, burning of churches and church-owned facilities such as presbyteries, schools and hospitals, and the abduction of a countless number of priests, nuns and Christians. Speaking further, Obodo Ehina noted that the daily experience of banditry, kidnapping for ransom have continued to make life nasty, British, and short in the country. Constant abductions, killings, and kidnapping of Catholic priests and nuns, the attack of Christians at place of worship, the burning of churches and presbytery across the country, and other assaults and carnage going on in different parts of the country is one in one hand, and the obvious indifference on the part of the government to provide any modicum of protection, care and support, arrest and punish offenders, stand for the rule of law, and have innocent lives give the impression of a government that is biased and unjust to a cross-section of its citizens. He encouraged the populace to become politically active, adding that these security gaps are a reflection of bad governance occasioned by age-long political apathy.